It's that time again, crafty friends. This is the March 2022 She Love Card Sketch from Alicia of Call Me Crafty Owl. And I'm going to be using this to make my set of cards in 10 minute segments. Over a course of three or four videos, I'm going to be making my cards and showing you how much you can make in that amount of time. I have this eight and a half by 11 St. Patrick's Day paper. This is really interesting. I've never seen that before. So I was extra happy to see that we were using six by six paper this time. So what I did was I just cut it down to six by six. Now they're all different. And so the cards are going to be unique. So stay tuned. Okay, here I have all my card bases cut. This is cut at portrait style, four and a quarter, and then scored at five and a half to make this style card. Or this, but we're going to do it this way. This is a stamp set from Globeland that I just got. Really cute images. And I have all my pattern paper cut, as well as this wonderful glittery green cardstock from Michaels. We're going to be cutting fishtails in this. And as usual, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the inside of my card first. And I'm going to be using this. May there be gold at the end of your rainbow. This is a wood stamp I used last year. But I think it makes a great inside sentiment. And I'll be using black. My onyx black. Because there's black in the pattern paper. Okay. Let's put 10 minutes on the clock. And start. All right. Oops. I should have brought out my uh, stamp positioner, I think. There we go. That's better. When I was searching for 12 by 12 paper, I went to scrapbook.com and they were out of stock. <laughs> so I'm still waiting on an email from them. So I went on Amazon and I found this. And of course I did not know in advance what size the paper was gonna be for this sheet load. And so I was pleasantly surprised it worked out. I was, I just cut down my eight and a half by 11 to six by six. And like I said, the pieces are all different. So I have all different, I'm going to have all different cards. There we go. We'll decorate the insides also. And that will be later. Okay. Now, Alicia wants us to put this piece on first, so I will do that on all the cards. Now, the pattern is the same on the other side. It's not double-sided in that respect. Let's put it all the way to the edge. And if some does happen to hang over, I can just trim it off. This paper does have a different feel to it and glossy.
Okay, this is weird. It's not wanting to work. I don't know why. Pull out the glue. Did the first, first piece fine. So I, all right. Whoops, I didn't cut that down, I guess. I'll have to do that later. And that's fine. Nope. Okay, let's trim that real quick. Not a problem. Of course, it's got glue on it. Homemade, not Hallmark, huh? That's a cute pattern, isn't it? All but one of these uh, pattern papers are non-directional, so that helps. that off later. downside to glue is that your fingers can get sticky and then it's crazy. You have a little bit of wiggle room with glue, liquid glue, so. Now this was the directional piece. I think I did well with it. I wanted a little bit of color besides just the greens. And so that's why I chose this piece. Down to the wire.
Okay, there's all those. Okay, let's go ahead and do fishtails on these ends here. Get them ready to go. Okay, there's our 10 minutes all done. Okay, stop. All right. So we got all these started. We're going to finish fishtailing these pieces. And then we're going to start putting these pieces on. How cute is that going to be? I think we got a great start. So we will see you next time for part two of the March 2022 sheet load of cards. See you soon. Bye-bye.